Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Sodium and Iris Shaders and we're going to do a FPS comparison of Sodium and Iris Shaders on the Fabric Mod Loader versus Sodium and Iris Shaders on the Forge Mod Loader. Now most of you already know that Sodium and Iris Shaders are available on the Fabric Mod Loader. However, some people have gone ahead and ported the Sodium and Iris Shaders mods over to the Forge Mod Loader and in today's video we're going to do a comparison and we're going to see what kind of FPS we we can get in the Forge version of Sodium and Iris Shaders and we're going to compare that with the Fabric version of Sodium and Iris Shaders. This is going to be on the latest release of Minecraft so it's going to be on version 1.18.2 as of today's date. If I press F3 on my keyboard you guys can see on the top left corner there it does say Minecraft version 1.18.2 and if I go into my mod section here you guys can see that I have got mod menu installed. This is the Fabric mod loader and I do have Sodium installed as well. This is the latest current release of sodium and I also do have iris installed as well so let's go ahead and take a look at what sodium and iris shaders perform like on the fabric mod loader and then we're going to do a comparison and have a look at how they perform on the forge mod loader and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the forge versions after I've performed the tests for the fabric version of sodium and iris shaders so let's go ahead and take a look at sodium and iris shaders on fabric on version 1.18.2 versus Sodium and Iris Shaders on Forge on version 1.18.2. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run my winter FPS stress test. So I am going to leave a link in the description where you guys can download all of the mods which I'm going to talk about today alongside this winter stress test map as well. So do go ahead and try this map out if you guys are doing a comparison on your setups. So let's go in and jump in into the winter stress test map and see what kind of FPS we are getting with sodium on the fabric mod loader on version 1.18.2. Alright, so we are now inside the game and I am running Sodium on version 1.18.2, this is on the Fabric mod loader. And as you guys can see in the top right corner there, I do have a FPS counter there. And I'm getting on average 550 FPS, I would say it is actually jumping up to 580 and then not actually lowering down to 520 as well. But I would say on average I am getting close to 550 FPS. I have not actually changed any of the settings, so for both of the tests I am actually going to run this on the default settings, I'm not going to play around with the settings. Too much so if I go into options click on video settings you can see that these are the default settings that Minecraft actually comes with they're both gonna be in brand new installations I am actually running this on the curse forge client and I have actually gone ahead and created two separate instances and I've not changed any of the settings so these are actually the default settings so if you guys are using the default settings this is what it is going to look like on sodium on version 1.18.2 so let's go back inside our map here and have a look at the FPS so as I mentioned earlier I would say on average I I'm getting 550 FPS inside my game. Let's go ahead and now enable some shaders. Let's go to shader packs and let's go ahead and enable the shaders. I am using the Prismarine shaders and if I click on apply and click on shader pack settings I have gone ahead and changed the profile to ultra and I'll do the same thing on the forge version as well so that we can see what kind of FPS we can get with shaders as well. So let's jump back inside the game and have a look at the FPS and how that changes from having not used shaders compared to using shaders. So at the moment I can see that I am getting on average 130 FPS. Obviously because we are using shaders we are not going to be seeing that much of the FPS fluctuating because it can be quite demanding on your system as well. So if you guys are using shaders yourself you will notice that the FPS is not going to fluctuate as much as you would have seen having not used shaders. So on average I would say I am getting 130 FPS on my system here. It is actually going up to 138 FPS as well but having said that I am going to say on average I am getting 130 FPS. So let's go ahead and now jump into the Forge version of Sodium and also test out the Forge version of Iris Shaders as well using the same test which I have just run now. Alright, so we are now in the game and this is the Forge version of the game. So as you guys can see on the bottom left corner here, it does say Forge version 40.0.40. This is the latest version of Forge that I have gone ahead and installed. If I click on mods, we can see that alongside Forge, I do have another mod called Rubidium. So as you guys can see, it says Rubidium is an unofficial fork of the sodium made to work on the Forge mod loader. I also have another mod called Oculus and this is an unofficial fork of Iris made to work with the Forge mod loader. 
I am also using the FPS reducer mod to actually monitor my FPS using the FPS counter that FPS reducer does come with. This is the only mod that is available on Forge that we can use and also contains a FPS counter that can be displayed on the top corner of our screen. So let's actually jump inside the game. I'm going to run the same winter stress test and let's go ahead and see what kind of FPS I am getting inside my Minecraft game using the fork of sodium on the Forge mod loader on version 1.18.2. Alright, so we are now inside the winter stress test using the forge version of sodium on version 1.18.2 and as you guys can see on the top right corner there on my screen, the FPS is not as high as I was getting on the fabric version. Now I didn't actually expect that to happen, but if you guys notice I am getting close to 510 FPS on average there, which is slightly lower than the fabric version of sodium. So it is quite interesting that the forge version is not giving us as high a result as the fabric version. In my opinion, the difference is not that much, so if you actually convert that to 60 FPS, then the difference would actually not be that much. However, if you guys are looking for those extra frames and you want to get higher FPS inside your game, then I would actually recommend that you guys go for the fabric version of sodium and not use the forge version of sodium. Only use the forge version of sodium if you are using mods on the forge mod loader that are your favorite mods and you do want to use sodium as well. Another good alternative to sodium on forge is obviously to use Optifine and obviously you guys would have to go ahead and test that and see what kind of FPS you are getting with Optifine on the forge mod loader. Let's now go ahead and enable some shaders and see how it performs with the shaders as well. As I mentioned earlier I am obviously using the default settings. This is a second installation on the CurseForge client and I haven't actually changed any settings so these are the default settings that the game comes with. Let's go into shader pack settings and let's enable Prismarine shaders. Let's go into the shader pack settings and as you guys can see I have gone ahead and changed the profile to ultra and let's jump back inside the game and let's see what kind of FPS we are getting with the Prismarine shaders on the iris fork for the forge mod loader now again interestingly the fps is actually quite similar to what we were seeing on the fabric version of iris as well so in terms of performance when it comes to using shaders i would say they are practically the same and there's not much difference between the fabric version of iris shaders compared to the forge version of iris shaders the main difference we would notice is obviously in sodium if we are using sodium with Without shaders but with shaders I would say the FPS is actually pretty similar in both versions. So if you guys are using shaders and you don't want to use Optifine for any reason then I would actually say you can actually go ahead and use the forge version of Iris shaders alongside a sodium and you would get similar performance to the fabric version. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys have found this sodium and Iris on fabric versus sodium and iris on forge on version 1.18.2 comparison interesting if you guys have done similar comparisons on your systems do leave a comment below with your results it would be quite interesting to see how these perform on your systems if you guys have any comments or queries about using sodium and iris shaders on the fabric mod loader or on the forge mod loader on version 1.18.2 then do leave a comment below i will do my best to try and help you guys out please also do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.